Today I want to show you five things the JavaScript console can do apart from console log that will give you a better experience in your next debugging session. The console can do so much more than console log. We can count how many times a function is called or measure how long an operation took to finish and more. Let's go. Console.count can be used to count how many times a function or a piece of code has run. All console.count does is log how many times it has been called. You can have multiple counters and differentiate between them by calling console count with a label. So you can put console count inside of your functions or even React components to see if they are running or re-rendering when you don't expect them to. To reset the count, you can use console count reset with the label you used before to take it back to zero. Console time starts a timer we can use to know how long one or many operations take. The way we use it is by first calling console time to start the timer. We then run the code we want to measure and when we are done, we call console time end to stop the timer and see how long in milliseconds it took. We can have up to 10,000 timers running in one page. And to differentiate them, we can use labels, which is very useful in profiling individual functions. We can also log the current value of the timer at any point before the end by calling console time log. Like here, where we start the timer, we run one function, we log the current time with time log, and finally, we stop the timer. Console.assert writes an error in the console if and only if the condition or assertion that you write is false. Instead of having to read a bunch of console logs to check if a value is what you expect, you can write an assertion and only get an error if the condition isn't true. You can also add an error message as the second argument of console assert to know which assertion failed. Console table is simple but useful. It takes either an array or an object and it will display its contents as a table. Tell me, what do you think looks better? This or this? It also takes a second optional parameter that allows us to choose which columns to show in the table. Like here, where we are displaying all the columns at first, and then we select only one. And finally, console group allows us to organize console messages in collapsible groups. All we have to do is call console group, and it will automatically put any following logs inside of said group until we call console group end. The group will be opened by default, but we can use console group collapsed to create a group that starts closed and that we have to click to open. You can call console group inside of another group to nest groups inside of each other, and you can call console group end to unnest them. And you don't have to indent the code. I did it so it's easier to understand and so it doesn't look horrendous. As a tiny extra, I want to show you how we can style the text in our console logs. Take this code, where we have a message as the first argument, and as the second, we have another string with some CSS. If we pay attention, we will notice that we included a percent %c in our message. That is called a directive. And what it does is tell the browser to apply the CSS we wrote to the text that follows it, not the text before it, giving us an output like this. You can go crazy and use multiple CSS styles with multiple directives like here, where we have a directive before message and before special. So the first CSS code will apply to the text after the first directive and the second one to the text after the last one, making our console look like this. But that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. It is important to keep in mind that even though we can do a lot with the console, the best way of debugging is by using the debugger of the browser or IDE. If you don't know how to do that, leave it on the comments and I will make a video about it. Thank you for watching as always. See you on the next one. Bye bye.